Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about all the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. I have just a few updates to share, so let's see how fast I can get you back to work. Speaking of fast, Android Studio 2.0 is the fastest way to build high-quality, performant apps for the Android platform, including phones and tablets, Android Auto, Android Wear, and Android TV. If you are developing for Android, you should be using Android Studio 2.0. Check out the blog post for the latest features and a link to the latest stable release. In this week's Android developer story, Wii Video explains how relaunching their app with material design increased user engagement by 100%. They also share how Wii Video improved monetization and installs using ratings and reviews, store listing experiments, and other features on Google Play. Click the link for the full video. Quickly understand your cloud application's top or new errors with Stackdriver error reporting, now available in beta for everyone to try. Zero setup is needed for App Engine applications, and it requires just a few configuration steps on other platforms. Stackdriver error reporting counts, analyzes, and aggregates in real time the crashes in your running cloud services and notifies you when there's something new. More details and screenshots are in the linked post. We recently launched the Google Maps SDK for iOS version 1.13. This release includes the ability to create advanced marker animations, the ability to set the frame rate up to 60 frames per second, further custom styling for the place autocomplete widget, and more. Details and a link to the SDK are on the post. OK, that was a super short set of updates this week. So here's one more thing just for fun. This is a post on the Google Research blog from the Broad Institute of MIT and Harvard about how their researchers and software engineers are collaborating closely with the Google Genomics team on large-scale genomic data analysis. They've already significantly reduced the time and cost for whole genome processing and are helping researchers think even bigger. Check it out. And that's it. With the time we saved today, why don't you share this video with your friends and colleagues? Go on. They'll thank you for it. And don't forget to click all the links in the description below. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week.